Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today we are going to start fifth unit vector calculus. In vector calculus, the concept of vector. The, what is the definition of vector? Vector is usually described as a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. And the examples are here: velocity and speed. See. Vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction, and there is a, again one concept: scalar. The quantity which has only magnitude is called scalar quantity. The examples are uh, time, temperature, etc. So this is the difference between vector and scalar quantity. Vector has both magnitude and direction, and scalar quantity it has only magnitude. Now algebra of vectors. first concept notation how to represent the vector vector whose starting point is a and ending point is b is written as ab bar this is the notation of vector the magnitude of ab bar is written as as mod of ab bar and is equal to the length of line segment ab See how to calculate the magnitude of the vector AB bar. It is written as mod of AB bar, and it is equal to the length of the line segment AB. Okay. Now magnitude is a positive scalar quantity. Remember that magnitude is a positive scalar quantity. Now, second concept, uh, unit vector. A vector which has magnitude one is called a unit vector. The vector which magnitude is always one is called unit vector. Unit vector in the direction of AB bar is given by, is given as mod of sorry AB bar upon mod of AB bar. AB bar is a vector and mod of AB bar is the magnitude of the vector AB bar. So, if we divide the vector by its magnitude, then we have the unit vector. in the direction of the vector ab bar itself okay now next is equality of vectors two vectors are said to be equal if they have same magnitude and direction so this is the concept of equal equality of vectors next is addition and subtraction of vectors two vectors can be considered as having a common initial point such as a as shown in figure a c figure a two vectors can be considered as having a common point common initial point such as a this is the common point of two vectors vector ab bar and ac bar okay as shown in figure a if ab bar and ac bar are sides of a parallelogram if ab bar and ac bar are sides of a parallelogram as shown in figure b a b bar and a c bar are the are sides of a parallelogram as shown in figure so see figure b there is a parallelogram a b d c or a c d b here a b bar and a c bar are the sides of a parallelogram as shown in figure b then the vector a b a d bar is the sum of this vector a d bar is the sum of the vector ab bar and ac bar that is here we can say ad bar is equal to ab bar plus ac bar this vector ad bar it represent the addition of these two vectors having a common point a ad bar is the principal diagonal of the parallelogram here you remember that that ad bar which is the addition of these two vectors is the diagonal of the parallelogram a b d c here <clears throat> also ab bar minus ac bar can be represented can be interpreted as addition of ab bar with minus ac bar also we can interpret the vector difference as the third side of the triangle with sides ab bar and ac bar as shown in figure c <clears throat> See, 
figure C. The addition AB bar minus AC bar can be interpreted as the addition of AB bar with minus AC bar. Also, we can interpret the vector difference as the third side of the triangle with sides AB bar and AC bar as shown in figure C. Now, next concept is position vector. If P of x, y, by z is any point in space and O is the origin, then the vector OP bar, which indicates the position of the point P by a vector, is known as a position vector of that point P. If P of x, y, z is any point in space and O is the origin, the vector OP bar, which indicates the position of the point P, by a vector is known as position vector of the that point P. Okay. Thus, the position vector of P of x, y, z is R bar is equal to x i bar plus y j bar plus z k bar. Here, i cap, j cap, k cap, these are the unit vectors. They are unit vectors. So, the notation is always cap, not the arrow here. The notation for unit vectors are cap. So the position vector of P of x, y, z is R bar is equal to xi plus y, xi cap plus yj cap plus z cap. So this is the representation of the position vector P of x, y, z, where i, j, k are unit vectors in the direction of x, y, z axis respectively. Here x, y, z are scalar components of R bar along x, y, z, capital X, y, z axis respectively. Remember the term, uh, the coefficient x with i, the coefficient y with j, the coefficient z with k, these are the scalar components of R bar, position vector R bar along x, y, z axis respectively. Okay, now product of vectors. How to do the product of two vectors? There are two types of products. First one is dot product of two vectors. Let's see what is the definition of dot product of two vectors. The dot product of two vectors, a bar and b bar is defined as a bar dot b bar is equal to a b cos theta where theta is the angle between the two vectors a bar and b bar such that theta lies between 0 to pi. This is the definition of dot product of two vectors that a, da, a bar dot b bar is equal to a into b. a and b are the scalar quantities means magnitude of a and b, magnitude of a bar and b bar respectively. a and b are the magnitudes of a, and a bar and b bar respectively into cos theta. Theta is the angle between the two vectors a bar and b bar. Okay, and theta is uh, always in between 0 to pi. So this is the definition of dot product of two vectors. Now there are some uh, remarks or notes. Uh, first point is a bar dot b bar is a scalar quantity. Therefore, it is also known as scalar product or inner product. A bar and b bar, this is a dot product of two vectors. And it is always, uh, the output is a, always a scalar quantity. Therefore, it is also known as a scalar product or inner product. From the formula for dot product, the angle between the two vectors a bar and b bar can be calculated by this is the formula to calculate the angle between two vectors a bar cos theta is equal to a bar dot b bar upon a into b a into b a and b are the scalar quantities. These are the magnitudes of a bar and b bar vectors respectively, where a is equal to mod of a bar and b is equal to mod of b bar. The same thing a bar mod of a bar is the magnitude of vector a bar mod of b bar is the magnitude of vector b bar now third remark is if a bar is equal to a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k and b bar is equal to b1 i plus b2 j plus b3 k k cap i j k are the unit vectors here then the dot product of a bar and b bar is equal to see how to do the dot product of two vectors a bar is equal to a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap and b bar is equal to b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap. Then, then a bar dot b bar is equal to c. a1 dot, you just do the multiplication of uh, the scalar quantities with i cap, scalar quantities with j cap, scalar quantities with k cap, because we know that i dot i cap dot i cap is one. See, the next uh, fifth property is i cap dot i cap is one, j cap dot j cap is one, k cap dot k cap is one. But i cap dot j cap is equal to zero. 
j cap dot k cap is zero, k cap dot i cap is zero. So a bar dot b bar is equal to the dot product of two vectors is equal to a one the coefficients of i cap in first vector and the coefficient of i cap in second vector. The product a one into b one i cap dot i cap is one plus a two into b two. J cap dot J cap is one. A three into B three. K cap dot K cap is one. So the dot product of A bar and B bar is A one B one plus A two B two plus A three B three. Fourth remark is A bar dot B bar is equal to B bar dot A bar. That dot product is commutative. Okay. The fifth point is fifth remark is cos zero is one. And cos ninety is zero. So, see what is the definition of dot product? A bar dot B bar is equal to A B cos theta A into B into cos theta. Now, see the fifth property: cos zero is one, cos ninety is zero. So, I dot I, I cap dot I cap is equal to J cap dot J cap. Cos zero is one, the angle between two vectors is zero. Then, uh, the cos zero value is one. So I cap dot I cap is one. J cap J cap into the vector J cap into the ve same vector J cap. Means the angle between J cap dot J cap is zero. The same vector is there. Its angle is zero, so the cos function value is one. So J cap dot J cap is equal to K cap dot K cap is equal to one. And I cap dot J cap. These are the two vectors, and they are perpendicular to each other. So they're Uh, angle between these two vectors, i cap dot j cap is 90 degree, and cos 90 is zero. Therefore, i cap dot j cap is zero, j cap dot k cap is zero, and k cap dot i cap is zero. So this is the fifth property. Is zero. The sixth property is the component of a bar in the direction of another vector u bar is given by the component of a bar in the direction of another vector u bar is given by a bar dot u cap. Okay. Then the next property or next note is two vectors a bar and b bar are perpendicular. Then their dot product is zero. Obviously, dot product is zero because the angle between a bar and b bar will be ninety degree and cos ninety is zero. Therefore, a bar dot b bar is zero. Then a bar dot a bar is equal to a square. A bar dot a bar, same vector. The multiplication of the vector with itself, a bar dot a bar. Then the angle between these two vectors is zero. Cos zero is one. So a bar dot a bar is a into a means a square into cos zero. Cos zero is one. So a bar dot a bar is a square. A square means mod of a bar whole square. It is equal to a one square plus a two square plus a three square. If three components are there for vector a bar, a one i plus a two j plus a three k, then the, the formula will be like this. M a bar dot n b bar. M a bar. The vector a bar its scalar is m. The vector b bar its scalar is n. So m a bar dot n a bar n b bar is equal to m n into a bar dot b bar. The product of scalar quantities m and n, and the dot product a bar dot b bar. So a bar dot b bar plus minus c bar is equal to a bar dot b bar plus minus a bar dot c bar at distributive property. This is the distributive property. Now cross product of two vectors. The cross product of two vectors a bar and b bar is defined as a bar dot b bar is equal to mod of a bar dot mod of b bar. Into sine theta into sine theta dot n cap. See the cross product of two vectors a bar and b bar is defined as a bar cross b bar is equal to mod of a bar means the magnitude of a bar is a mod of b bar means magnitude of b bar is b. So it is a into b into sine theta dot n cap, where theta is the angle between a bar and b bar such that theta lies between zero to pi and n cap is the unit vector perpendicular. To the plane of a bar and b bar, unit vector perpendicular to the vector 
perpendicular to the plane of a bar and b bar. A bar cross b bar is also known as vector product because a bar cross b bar is a vector quantity. Note a bar cross b bar is also known as vector product. Also known as vector product because a bar cross b bar is a vector quantity. A bar cross b bar is equal to minus of b bar cross a bar. A bar and b bar are parallel if a bar cross b bar is equal to zero. A bar cross b bar is also known as vector product because a bar cross b bar is a vector quantity. A bar cross b bar is equal to minus of b bar cross in bracket b bar cross a bar means vector product is not commutative. Dot product is commutative. That uh, cross product or vector product is not commutative. Cross product is not commutative. Now the definition of cross product is a bar cross b bar is equal to a b sin theta into n cap. N cap is the unit vector perpendicular to the plane of a bar and b bar. Yeah. Third remark is a bar and b bar are parallel if and only if a bar cross b bar is zero. A bar and b bar are parallel if and only if a bar cross b bar is equal to zero. So a bar cross a bar is equal to zero. A bar cross a bar is zero. So fifth i bar i cap cross i cap is equal to j cap cross j cap is equal to k cap cross k cap is equal to zero. So i cap cross j cap is equal to k cap. J cap cross k cap is equal to i cap, and k cap cross i cap is equal to j cap. Okay. So a bar and b bar are parallel if and only if a bar cross b bar is equal to zero. If two vectors are parallel, then their angle between these two vectors is zero. And if angle between two vectors is zero, then sine zero is zero. And so the cross product between these two vectors is zero. If a bar cross a bar, uh, then its cross product is also zero because angle between these two vectors a bar a bar the pro cross product product of a bar with itself. Then the angle between a bar and a bar is zero, so sine function will be zero in the definition of cross product, and so the product a bar cross a bar will be zero. That's why i cap cross i cap angle between i cap cross i i cap and i cap is zero, so the sine function zero, so cross product zero. Same for j cap cross j cap k cap cross k cap, it is zero cross product. And when there is a cross product of two vectors which are perpendicular to each other, i, j, k are the unit vectors. They are perpendicular to each other, and so the angle between these two vectors is always 90. I cap cross j cap, the uh, vectors are perpendicular, so the angle between these two is 90. Sine 90 is one, and so i cap cross j cap is equal to k cap because the n cap vector means the uh, vector unit vector perpendicular to the plane of i cap and j cap are is equal to k cap. I cap is the unit vector in the direction of x axis. J cap is the unit vector in the direction of y axis, and k cap is the unit vector in the direction of z axis. So, the cross product of I cap and J cap it is equal to k cap because the definition of cross product is a bar cross b bar is equal to a into b magnitude of a bar and b bar into sine theta into n cap. When two vectors are per perpendicular, sine 90 is one. Because theta is 90, so sine 91. So this term one into this magnitude a and b, a into b, and n cap is the unit vector uh, which is perpendicular to a bar and perpendicular to the plane of a bar and b bar. Now when there is cross product of i cap and j cap, then the unit vector now uh, perpendicular to the plane of i and j is k cap. Same for j cap cross k cap. The uh, unit vector normal. Sorry. Unit vector perpendicular to the plane of j cap cross k cap is i cap, and the unit vector perpendicular to the k cap cross i cap is j cap. So this is the fifth note. Six one is a bar cross bracket b bar plus minus c bar is equal to a bar cross b bar plus minus a bar cross c bar distributive property. If a bar is equal to a one i plus a two j plus a three k and b bar is equal to b one i plus b two j plus b three k. Then a bar cross b bar is equal to it is the determinant of i j k i cap j cap k cap second row a one a two a three third row b one b two b three so this is the formula i j k i cap j cap k cap as the unit vectors direction of x axis y axis and z axis respectively okay 
and second row a1 a2 a3 a1 a2 a3 it is the uh, coefficient of um, first vector a bar b1 b2 b3 these are the coefficients of second vector b bar so how to find the cross product between two vectors this is the formula so this is the determinant you solve this determinant you will get the cross product between two vectors then this scalar property scalar triple product scalar triple product is a product of this of three vectors whose answer is a scalar scalar triple product is a product of three vectors whose answer is a scalar it is also known as a box product a bar dot b bar cross c bar is equal to uh, the box product a bar b bar c bar and it is a determinant of a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 scalar triple product is a product of three vectors whose answer is a scalar it is also known as a box product if a bar box product a bar b bar c bar is equal to 0 then a bar b bar c bar are coplanar that is a bar b bar c bar lie in same plane in a scalar triple product square box a bar b bar c bar is equal to b bar c bar a bar is equal to square box c bar a bar b bar yeah, means they are commutative they are coplanar they lie in the same same plane so also a bar dot b bar cross a bar dot in bracket b bar cross c bar is equal to in bracket a bar cross b bar bracket complete dot c bar okay vector triple product vector triple product is a product of three vectors whose answer is a vector so a bar cross in bracket b bar cross c bar bracket complete is equal to a bar dot c bar bracket complete into b bar minus a bar in bracket a bar dot b bar bracket complete into c bar so this is the definition of vector triple product then scalar and vector point functions we will discuss the scalar and vector point functions in next session so this session introductory part of vector is over here this session is over thank you